What's going on, guys? Oh my goodness, I'm juggling one ball. <laughs> May have actually dropped it, but that's fine. Training's going well for Cirque du Soleil Corteo for the first time coming here in Greenville. I've got my wings on. We are flying away with all of the fun. We've got Johan Doslin, one of the performers here. Talk to me a little bit more first. How did you find Cirque? Well, the way everything started for me was actually, I was 10 years old, so it's 23 years ago. I saw Cirque du Soleil on TV, and the juggler in the show was just absolutely amazing. So I decided at that point, I have to start juggling, and I want to work with Cirque du Soleil one day, and now I'm here. Wow. Well, a lot of people see the show, Johan, but not a lot of people actually join the cast. What is your role like? Well, my role, well, my main character is the Harlequin juggler. I'm a juggler, so you, it's you can fabulous. see. It's fabulous. And uh, <laughs> then we also have, like, tons of other acrobats doing yeah. like, different disciplines on the ground and in the air yes. and everything. So it's a great family show for absolutely everyone, especially yes. now when it's spring break here. In mm -hmm. Google, everyone should come watch the show. It's totally, like, the great show to see for absolutely everyone jaw dropping i've heard i've seen a lot of the promos online as well and for those who have seen cirque in greenville this is unlike any other experience corteo what is that storyline so the story is about our main character mauro who's dreaming about his own funeral but funeral in this case is not like a sad kind of thing it's okay. more like a, let's say within, in a gospel church where you actually celebrate celebration the of great, life yeah exactly yes. celebration of life you celebrate all the great things that the person did during his life and so on oh. and in this uh, in this story, it's kind of like Mauro go set, like meets up with all his friends he meet through, okay. through his whole life before he goes to the afterlife, and we say like a big like goodbye to him in the end. And it's uh, it's a it's a very touching story, but yes. it's it's very it's very fun also. Good, a mix of silly and somber gets you thinking, but you're still having fun. Yes, absolutely, every day. Good. Well, I want to know what the training is like. Are you like running marathons every day, push-ups every five seconds? What's the athletic well, I would element? Well, like, uh, depending on what d discipline you do, like for juggling, uh -huh. I don't necessarily need to do like a lot of workout and all these okay. other things compared to other acrobats. But I do kick myself in shape because I just it just feels better. Oh yeah. But I would say we train a lot. Like when we start working, we train from like morning to evening. There's like tons wow. of stuff going on before the show, and then we do the show, and then we just repeat. So we we work all the time. Un Unbelievable. Well, you have an amazing group of people that you've been able to travel with, and a lot of them come from circus background or performing arts, but your family didn't, which is interesting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the black sheep in the family. Yeah. I, just, I, I, just, I say you're really yes. colorful sheep. Well, yeah, colorful sheep, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it was just like, I just spun circus, and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Everyone back home, like, they're doing normal jobs and everything, but I'm like, no, this is this is my lifestyle. That's I right, bump a normal job, because we've got Diablo here. Yes. Now, this is like a yo-yo on steroids. Yeah, exactly. And what can we expect? Uh, can you show us a little... A little something? Absolutely. Okay. Do you want me to teach you something? You do it first, uh, <laughs> Johan, and then I'll kind of, you know, uh, you saw my juggling, so yeah. I don't know. Okay, sure. <laughs> yes, I'll, yes. I'll show something. All righty. So where did Diablo come from? This is an interesting, uh, whoa, hey, oh, we're whipping it. We're whipping it good. <gasps> I don't, he probably can't talk during it. I should probably stop asking him questions. We're taking questions from the crowd. What do you guys want to know? Oh, maybe an interpretive dance from the angel in the back? Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, I can definitely do that, Johan. No, for sure, for sure. What? Oh, March Madness could never. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, coming to the Bon Secours, the 21st and the 24th, guys. Get your tickets. This is just a small taste. I am blown away. How many do you have on there? I'm seeing 15. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, you can't, you can't stay still for this thing. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, okay. So just like that, huh? Just like that. Well, I, yeah. I, I, I've been doing this for like 20 years. How hard could so. it be, Johan? Let's, uh, you want to teach me yeah, a little absolutely. bit? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Jeez. Do your set. Okay. I'm going to take my set. I'm going to show you exactly This one's foolproof, it. right? Yeah. So <laughs> what you're going to do is, you're going to put it on the ground on your right side. You're probably right-handed, right? I am right-handed. So what you're going to do is, you're going to roll it to your left, lift it okay. up in the air, and then... You're just gonna do oh. like this kind of kind of like puppet. Movement. Exactly, with your right hand and the left one will just follow the whole thing. Oh, okay, oh, okay, don't move that. Oh, nice. Did nice. you hear this that? Working. It's the wings. I have nothing to do with this. Okay, okay. Okay. And if that happens, then you just start over, <gasps> and when it becomes more oh, no. comfortable, then you just okay become better. And you're okay, so when you're in a show and a mess up happens, you just kind of like da 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 roll yeah, a bit. Okay. I, exactly, because that's <gasps> the, the reality. Is like we're just human. Right. Errors happen, and yes. that's also an interesting thing with like live performance that yeah. you need to 
will also be able to adjust into it. Adapt. Say, okay, if something happens, what do you do? And just like the show must go on. Right. And it's just. And they won't know the difference. So you just kind of like pop it up. Oh, oh, that was, exactly. that was supposed to happen. Exactly. exactly. Wow. Johan, amazing. Exactly. Okay. Well, is there anything you're working on now that isn't going to be in the show, but you want to maybe show us a little? I like a backflip, do, I triple do turn. I don't have space for that right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> you know it's going to be cool then. Okay, yeah, should we go yeah. to the parking lot? Oh, actually, <laughs> like, please, no, I, don't no, want to do I, I would say like I would for those things I would need so many attempts that like okay. people are gonna fall asleep before I do it because I like. I'm oh no, we have faithful viewers, yes. Johan. We would be with you, but we'll get you next time. Absolutely. How about that? Yep, okay, sounds great, sounds great. wrapping up. Anything else people should know about the show? A little teaser. Uh, just go watch it because there is also like uh, we don't have real horses, but we have like fun. Like we ah. have people who dress up like horses. It's super fun for kids. Kids love it. Okay. And then there's also one part of the show <gasps> where the audience will participate in when our small person uh, like flies in yeah. balloons on top of the audience <gasps> and you get to push them. So there's you have oh. to you have to be there. Okay. You just have to Y'all be better there. stretch, and you uh, definitely need to make sure you give Johan a shout out when you see him doing the Diablo. This weekend here at Bon Secours, guys, go get your tickets! Oh. <laughs>